do a magic circle, you're going to take your yarn and this here will be the end tail and this will be the working. What we're going to do is take our thumb and third finger and hold a decent length, the end tail between them. We're going to wrap the working yarn around these two fingers. As you wrap them around, to twist your hand and bring the yarn up and over and trap it between the third and fourth finger. We're going to take a hook and go under the first yarn and grab the second and pull it through and as we do that we're just going to twist it up like so. This piece of yarn here we're then going to grab it with our hook and as we do so we're going to twist it just to anchor it slightly and we're going to pull it through this loop here. You don't want to pull this tight as working with chenille yarn can cause a few problems doing a magic circle. So you want to keep it as loose as possible. For this tutorial, I will do six single crochet into the magic circle, but what you will do is just follow the specified amount in the pattern. To place your first single crochet, bear in mind this is not one here. You will insert your hook under both of these pieces of yarn. Grab that strand pull it through and up and then you have two loops on your hook. I just hold it here between my middle finger and thumb. And you want to yarn over and pull through both loops. Do not pull the stitch tight. We're then going to make sure that these don't tangle so I'm just going to do that and then we're going to place our second one. So insert into the circle, yarn over, grab the yarn and pull up so you have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. You should now have two stitches. I'm going to insert our hook again into that circle, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. One, two, three, four. We now have four. We'll do two more, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both, and then the final one, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And we're just going to check, so you can count like this because the V's is a stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. To complete your magic circle, you will pull on this end tail here. With chenille yarn this can be a bit tricky so what I'm going to do is pull up this here so we don't use our, lose our working yarn. We're just going to pull this. With chenille yarn you want to be really careful you don't fray or snap the circle. So as you go you just want to pull it slightly and if you feel any resistance just shuffle these little loops along here. So as you do you're just going to close it. And that is our magic circle complete. You can then go on to the next round and start in that first stitch.